Endoscopic grading of gastric intestinal metaplasia, EGGIM, a multicenter validation study. Introduction. Gastric intestinal metaplasia, GIM, is considered a precancerous condition as it constitutes the background in which dysplasia and intestinal type gastric adenocarcinoma often develop. The intragastric distribution of precancerous conditions of the gastric mucosa is a determinant of gastric cancer risk as multifocal intestinal metaplasia, IM, affecting the mucosa of the antrum and corpus has been associated with a higher risk of gastric cancer. In patients harboring this condition, surveillance at three yearly intervals has been recommended by European guidelines and is cost-effective. Several histologic classifications have been developed to stratify risk for preneoplastic changes. The operative link on gastric intestinal metaplasia, OLGIM, classification was proposed for the staging of gastritis and to stratify the risk of gastric cancer based on the presence and severity of IM in five biopsy samples two from the antrum, one from the incisura, and two from the corpus. In a retrospective case control study including 474 patients with gastric cancer, OLGIM3, odds ratio, OR, 5.5, 95% confidence interval, CI, 3.38 to 5.95, and four, OR, 8.91, 95% CI, 5.16 to 15.37 were significantly more common in the gastric cancer group than in the control group. Moreover, in a post hoc analysis based on 4,552 consecutive biopsy sample sets, intraepithelial or invasive neoplastic lesions were significantly more frequent in the high risk stages, OLGIM 3 and 4, than in the low risk stages, OLGIM 0 to 2. Cumulative evidence suggests that electronic chromoendoscopy with narrow band imaging, NBI, is highly accurate for the diagnosis of precancerous conditions. A study conducted in 2012 showed that NBI had accuracy rates higher than 85% to 90% for the diagnosis of IM and dysplasia, and a recent trial demonstrated that NBI is superior to white light endoscopy, WLE, in identifying patients with IM showing that NBI is useful for the diagnosis of IM. More recently, a new type of endoscopic classification has been proposed. The endoscopic grading of gastric intestinal metaplasia, EGGIM, may be used to assess a patient's risk by the endoscopic assessment of IM in the antrum, incisura, and corpus with the use of high-resolution HR NBI scopes. In a post hoc analysis based on endoscopic images taken from 201 patients in a multicenter study, the diagnostic accuracy of EGGIM compared with OLGIM for the identification of patients with extensive IM was 98%, but this was assessed solely by a single endoscopist. The aim of this study was to formally validate the diagnostic accuracy of EGGIM using OLGIM as the reference test for the presence and extension of GIM in a prospective multicenter study and to discuss the need for random biopsies in future guidelines. Background. Random biopsies are recommended to identify individuals at risk of gastric adenocarcinoma. Cumulative evidence suggests that narrowband imaging, NBI, can be used to grade gastric intestinal metaplasia, GIM. The authors aimed to externally validate a classification of endoscopic grading of gastric intestinal metaplasia, EGGIM. Methods. Consecutive patients in two centers were submitted to high-resolution white light gastroscopy, followed by NBI, to estimate EGGIM a score 0 to 10 resulting from the sum of endoscopic assessments of GIM scored as 0, 1, or 2 for no GIM, less than or equal to 30% or greater than 30% of the mucosa, respectively, in five areas, lesser and greater curvature of both antrum and corpus and incisura. If GIM was endoscopically suspected, targeted biopsies were performed. If GIM was not noticeable, random biopsies were performed according to the Sydney system to estimate the operative link on gastric intestinal metaplasia, OLGIM, the gold standard. Results, 250 patients, 62% female, median age 55 years were included. GIM was staged as OLGIM 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, in 136, 54%, 15, 6%, 10, 
52, 21%, 34, 14%, and 13, 5% patients, respectively. All patients with GIM except three were identifiable with targeted biopsies. For the diagnosis of OLGIM 3 and 4, the area under the ROC curve was 0.96, 95% confidence interval, CI, 0.93 to 0.98, and by using the cutoff greater than 4, sensitivity, specificity, and positive likelihood ratio were 89%, 95%, and 16.5, respectively. Results were similar. 91%, 95%, and 18.1 when excluding patients with foveolar hyperplasia. Conclusion. For the first time, an endoscopic approach was externally validated to determine the risk of gastric cancer without the need for biopsies. This can be used to simplify and individualize the management of patients with gastric precancerous conditions.